Hi, I'm State Representative Jonathan Brostoff, and welcome to my latest edition of What's Up Wednesday. Now, normally on What's Up Wednesdays, uh, I would be updating you on some of the latest legislation here in Madison. Today, we're going to take a break from that and talk about the 2017 Deaf Lobby Day. Last year, we had our first Deaf Lobby Day. It worked out great, and I am very proud to have worked with Representative Skaronsky's office, the Wisconsin Association for the Deaf, the Wisconsin Registry of Interpreters for the Deaf, and the Hearing Loss Association of America to bring you our second annual Deaf Lobby Day. We have worked incredibly hard to build up this important event with around 200 neighbors from around Wisconsin participating. And some of the things being lobbied for today include mental health, licensing, and various other issues of access for the deaf, uh, deaf blind, and hard of hearing community. And one of the big challenges uh, that's facing these communities is a lack of access to proper mental health care services. Now, mental health care services and that sort of access is already a big struggle in Wisconsin. But that struggle is even more acute in the deaf, deafblind, and hard of hearing community. So one of the asks today is for uh, some statewide coordination for mental health services and some more staffing for that for the deaf, deafblind, and hard of hearing community. So you may ask yourself, how did we already get to our second annual Deaf Lobby Day and how did this come to be? Well, it seems like just yesterday, uh, although it was a few years ago, I was meeting for coffee with a few friends and we were at a coffee shop just discussing uh, some issues important to us, uh, including sign language interpreters in Wisconsin and some of the concerns around changes to their licensing, as well as uh, a few other issues that are specifically affecting the deaf, deafblind, and hard of hearing communities. And I said, hey, why don't we just set up a deaf lobby day and we can inform other legislators about these and other important issues affecting the deaf community. And basically from that, Deaf Lobby Day was born. Uh, and I tell that story specifically to illustrate the fact that one of the things needed now more than ever is civic engagement. Whether you're coming up here or meeting in your neighborhood, calling or emailing, it is important that you talk to us and communicate directly with your representatives about the issues that affect you and also that you share your expertise on things that we might need to learn more about. And you might consider grabbing a cup of coffee with some of your friends and discussing setting up a lobby day of your own on whatever issues you're concerned with. The best democracy is an informed democracy. So please reach out to me, to other legislators. Let us know what issues are important to you, what changes you'd like to see, and what you think should be happening here in the Capitol. I am so happy that we have all the wonderful deaf, deaf, blind, hard of hearing, and ally neighbors up in the Capitol today from all over the state. And they are working to make Wisconsin better and to highlight some important issues. So thank you to them. And I hope that you are also inspired by the 2017 Deaf Lobby Day as I am. And I hope that that inspiration manifests into more civic engagement. I wanna to end today's What's Up Wednesday by giving a huge shout out and thank you to Sarah Gibbs and Representative Skaronsky to Anai Sanchez Sandoval, to our great team of amazing interns, and thank you, thank you, thank you for all the hard work you all have put into this. Last but certainly not least, I want to give an enormous shout out and thank you to Rebecca Frank from my office, who has put in a Herculean effort. She literally was here until 10.20 p.m. this last Monday, putting in some finishing touches and to make sure today uh, goes so well. And she is nothing short of marvelous. So Rebecca, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your work. You rock. Thank you for tuning in this week. Happy 2017 Deaf Lobby Day. This is Wednesday, and that's what's up.